Good afternoon, class. Today we are going to do a math activity. Understand putting shapes together. So we're going to be using squares, triangles, trapezoids in order to make other shapes. So let's get started. First, you're going to take all of your shapes that's on the paper, the math paper, cut them out. See, here's my trapezoid. Oh, even diamonds. Here's my diamonds. Go ahead and cut out. Here's a triangle. Make sure you cut out all of your little shapes, okay? Now. We are going to use the shapes in order to create a trapezoid. So let's look at number one. What are two ways you can put together shapes to make a trapezoid? Your shapes are a little bit bigger than the actual shape that they put on the paper. So you're just going to put it underneath it so you can make sure it's a good match. Here I have one trapezoid. Here's one way to show the shape of a trapezoid. Now, I'm going to take three triangles. And I'm going to put the three triangles together and watch them form a trapezoid. One. Two. Three. You see that? I have another trapezoid using the triangles. So I want you to try that with your shapes. Let's go to number two. We are going to show different ways to make a hexagon. Now a hexagon has six sides. So I have the trapezoids, the diamonds, I mean the rhombuses, which looks like a diamond, but we're gonna call them a rhombus today. The triangles, and we're gonna use those, I even have one large hexagon. We're gonna use these, and this time they actually fit into the molds of the shape. And we're gonna make hexagons using these different shapes. So let's look at the first one. I wonder if these are the same ones you were thinking about choosing. We're gonna take one trapezoid, put it on top, we're going to take another trapezoid, flip it upside down, and put it under. Now we have our first hexagon. Next time, we are going to use two rhombus shapes and two triangles. We are going to put the rhombuses on the sides, one, two, and we're going to take the triangles, two triangles, put one here, another up top in the middle and now we have our other hexagon for our third one i'm going to take three rhombuses and i'm going to place them in the shape of a hexagon trying to get it flat it would be better if you glue it so that way to get flat but I just wanted to show you guys. But when you have a chance, go ahead and glue it. Sorry, I'm messing up the screen and everything, guys. Once you glue it, make it flat, you will see how it fits into the hexagon. Whew. Now we have a word problem. I'm going to read it to you. Follow along with me using your fingers as such. Buzz and Boom each have three rhombuses, rhombuses, that's the shape right here, looks like a diamond. Buzz says he can put them together to make a trapezoid. Boom says he can put them together to make a hexagon. Draw to show who is right. Now we already know because we used it right here. If we have one, two, three rhombuses, they will make a hexagon not a trapezoid 
three rhombuses would be too big for a trapezoid, but three rhombuses fit exactly in a hexagon. So that makes boom the correct choice. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day.